Here we're installing a basic 70 volt audio system uh, in a restaurant. It's only three speakers, an amp, and a volume control. Uh, we're running a speaker wire up here in the ceiling. You want to make sure to adjust uh, your uh, resistance on the speakers. And these speakers are flush mount. They, they mount flush with the ceiling tile. We've got a T-bar bracket. Uh, they've also got additional tether cable. So they're this is a, like in case they break. This is a lid uh, or the grating that goes on top of the speaker when they're done. So uh, speaker wire goes from your amp uh, to your volume control and then from your volume control to your speaker. Uh, in this case I, I've daisy chained the speakers and you want to strip uh, you want to strip your cable uh, uh, you want to strip the outer jacket so it's not like cat 5 or cat 6 uh, you, you do want to strip the inner uh, jackets as well and then you you want to connect your speaker cable to the terminal block. The amplifier will have its own terminal block, but uh, basically you uh, I you should uh, cut these uh, down after you've stripped them, and you should probably get a soldering iron and tin the ends. So that they, uh, so that they fit well, and for a better, better connection. So you just tighten them down. And the re the reason you want to cut. Your cables down uh, so that uh, you don't have any exposed copper which could corrode but also touch another pair and short out your system which means you get no audio or worse so once you have tightened the wires down uh, this wire is coming from the amp and then you want to do the same thing with the a uh, wire that's going back to the speakers. So I'm tightening, so this is the speaker wire, this is going from the volume control uh, into the back of the amplifier and you can see we've shoved this into a conduit so the speaker wire also uh, goes into a conduit uh, they cut the hole in the drywall but it's not very tight I mean it's pretty tight and the volume control won't fit so, uh, they're not using a normal uh, drywall, or some of you call it sheetrock. Uh, it's a, this is a restaurant, so the, the drywall is uh, some of this grease resistant, fire resistant stuff. So you want to be careful. Uh, these volume controls they fit, uh, they've got screw holes, so they fit inside a standard junction box. And uh, now it's in, uh, we can crank up the volume. The, the music player gets its uh, audio from the internet, so the restaurant's head office can customize the playlist based on the holidays or uh, whatever they think sells more food and uh, 
if we go back we've got our audio set up here and next to it we've got our server for our digital signage uh, which is uh, we're still working on right now anyway uh, I have to mute part of this video because it's playing pretty awesome music and YouTube will say oh, well you can't use their music so what can I say about that but you can see the speakers are in and they're flush mounted to the ceiling tile these aren't uh, very heavy speakers, but tethering them is important. In case the ceiling tile cracks. <laughs> 